Hi, everyone. My name is Kimmy. I am here with Capital Presence. We are known for the hashtag work wherever, uh, where we come to your business. We can do anywhere from audits uh, to really managing your environment and making things simple, uh, taking the um, excessive work out of your day to day, giving you back time to focus on what matters most. So please feel free to follow us on all social media platforms. And while you're here, please click the subscribe button. Uh, this is what we call Now 360 where we jump into the admin center of Microsoft and we pull out pieces uh, that are interesting and will bring value to your day. Uh, just so you don't have to go in there. Microsoft, as you know, if you work with them, releases updates all the time and it's hard to um, stay afloat of it all. So this is the purpose of Now 365. Please go ahead and like I said, subscribe and you will be alerted every single week when we launch a new video. Uh, and they're short and sweet. They're about two minutes this video. So please take the time to go ahead and listen. And with that, I'm going to dive into what the, this week's update is. And it's all around sign language within most Microsoft Teams, which I think is really important. Um, you know, the people that don't have to deal with this don't really think of this as anything that would just come to mind. But in this community, sign language um, through Microsoft Teams is, is really important and it's it's huge. And I'm so happy that they brought this uh, update out. So let me dive into the summary here. Microsoft is introducing a new sign language experience in Teams meeting to help meeting participants who use sign language to prioritize interpreters and other sign language users so they remain visible in a static central location on the meeting stage with higher video quality. Specific sign language users inside the organization that you work with regularly, such as regular interpreters, can be prioritized across all meetings by adding them to a prioritized signer list under settings and accessibility in the Teams app. Sign language view is a personal user level setting and is visible only to those who have it turned on. It will not be shown to the rest of the meeting participants. The feature is presently available only on the Teams desktop, so something to take note of. Sign Language View addresses three concerns raised by the deaf, hard of hearing users. It keeps interpreters and other signers in a static location, unaffected by the dynamic placement of other videos as people enter and exit a meeting. As you know, if you're a part of Teams meetings and you're a part of a large meeting, those boxes move all the time. So if you know, it's difficult to pay attention normally, um, but if you're hard of hearing, it makes it even harder. So that is a great update. Uh, also, it simplifies the meeting join process by providing settings for sign language and captioning that persists across all meetings. And lastly, it keeps interpreters and other signers visible and prioritize when content is shared. Some of the changes uh, that will affect your organization to take note of um, are the following. They will see a new option sign language in the more menu accessed under the three dots in the top menu bar. A new accessibility pane will appear in the main setting menu that will include toggles for turning on sign language view and settings captioning to appear across all meetings. Within the accessibility settings pane, users can also create a list of people internally to their organization to always prioritize sign language. Making it simple, that's what we're all about. Assigning, if you know that that is beneficial, please go ahead and do that. If more than two individuals are prioritized for sign language, the first two to join a meeting and turn on video will be prioritized. So something to note, this does only work up to two. It does prioritize. So like it was just saying, if you have example four in your organization that have that, um, that assigned to them, the first two that sign on, they're going to get that. Within a meeting, sign language view will show the participants you designate as signers at a larger scale in a static location with a fit to frame aspect ratio and higher quality video with low bandwidth scenario support. When no content is shared, prioritized signers appear on the lower part of the center stage. When content is shared, prioritized signers shift location still with prioritized larger video for up to two signers, like I said. Um, there are some things you do can do to prepare for this launch that's going to begin in early November. It's November 1st, so it's going to be happening very soon. Um, we urge you to update documentation for your users interested in this feature. Uh, documentations that you can create is how to enable user level setting and add signers in a meeting, add and remove, add and remove signers, 
change views and come back to sign language view or in a meeting, go to the more context menu on the toolbar and select accessibility. If you are a part of GCC, that's going to start rolling out early December. It should be completed by mid-December. If you are GCC higher DOD, that will begin to roll out in January. Again, that is our update. We like to be short and sweet. I hope this was informative for you. We love to interact with you. Please reach out to us or put comments on below this video, how we can improve what you would like to see. We like to pull things um, that are not too technical, not jargon heavy, um, just so it's an easy you know, video to listen to while you do something else. Again, if you guys have any recommendations, please go ahead and reach out to us. We are known for, like I said, hashtag work wherever. We are known for making the workspace remote and it's easily doing that. It doesn't have to be complicated. Communication is still there. Please reach out. We offer audits. Uh, we offer managed services, all of those things. We also do a lot of work in the federal uh, landscape. So any opportunities that you may be looking for someone to pair with, please reach out to us. We are always looking to work with a prime. We do it on multiple accounts. So go ahead and reach out to us. And again, my name is Kimmy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all the latest videos from Capital Presence.